So, in order to make sure that he got Jesus, he said, I want to kill every child from what? From two years old down. Kill him. He has to be in that in the, in that in, in that area. It says, "Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet." Rama was there a voice heard lamenting and weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comforted because they were not. But when Herod was dead, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the child and his mother and go into the land of Israel. For they that, for for they are dead, which sought the young child's life, and he arose and took him, the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. And so you're going to see they came back. But they didn't go into Jerusalem because he was still afraid that uh, some of Herod's kinfolks might still be looking for Jesus. So instead of that, it says, And they came and they dwelt in a city called Nazareth. And it is that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. So I want you to understand here. You see, all my life I've seen a nativity scene. With the Jesus being where? In a stable. With animals. Laying in a manger and swaddling clothes. Shepherds. Hmm? And then wise men kneeling down, giving their gifts. Not scriptural. Matthew, second chapter, verse 11. You need to read the whole chapter to get the understanding. So just because somebody tells you something, or because somebody shows you a picture of something, does not necessarily make it true. And see, people don't want you to tell the truth. But God holds you and I and everyone responsible who has knowledge for not telling the truth. God wants us to tell the truth. Huh? Same way, same way I said, uh, everybody talking about Christmas, December the 25th. We don't know we don't know when Jesus was born. Except we can go by the records, which will give you an appro approximate time where he might have been born. Mm -hmm. But to say that he was born on December 25th? Mm -hmm. No. That's a man-made given date for Jesus' birth. Mm -hmm. In any way, we have forgotten about Jesus anyway when it comes to Christmas. Only thing we're worrying about, what am I getting for Christmas? Hmm? What kind of presents am I getting? Uh, it's all about me. I want this. I want that. I want that. Christmas ought to be a time of joy. Why? Because the Savior the Savior of the world was born around that time. See? That's what I mean by soul saving Christmas. Hmm? Because if Christ had not come into the world, we could not have been saved. 
I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, no human being here on the earth, I don't care who he is, what religious leader he is, mm -hmm. he is not perfect. No human being is perfect. Huh? Mm -hmm. There's only one perfect man to ever walk the earth here, and that was Jesus Christ. And yes, said that he knew no sin, yes, sir. but he took on the sins of the world. Huh? Mm. When he died on the cross, and he shed his blood for us. Mm -hmm. Huh? That what? That we might get salvation. Hey. That we might get a way back to God. Hey, yes, sir. Huh? Hallelujah. Without him shedding his blood. We had no chance to get back to God. We had no salvation. Understand one thing. The great mystery is when, when God looks at us, we who are sons and daughters of Jesus Christ, God doesn't see our sin. Why? Because we're covered in the blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. Huh? We're covered in Jesus' blood. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because we know we're not perfect. But by Jesus shedding his blood, he paid the price. Huh? He paid the price for our sins. Huh? And now we as human beings ought to do what? We need to pay back. We need to give back to God and His Son. By what? By being obedient to God. Huh? I don't care what man says. I don't care what man does. I'm going to obey God. Because this life here is what? Temporary. There is another life called eternal life. Amen. You're going to die. You're going to be raised again. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to have this earthly body, mm. which is called a terrestrial body. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have a body like Jesus, like God, which is called a celestial body, mm. which is a heavenly body, a spiritual body. And you're going to live forever and ever. You're never going to die. Again. What do you mean, preacher? I mean that if you are not, <clears throat> if you are not spiritually in tune with God, mm -hmm. if you're not God's child, you don't have a relationship with God, you are spiritually dead. You're not physically dead. Oh, you go to work, you make money, you do this, you do that. <clears throat> but you're dead. Because we need a creator. Amen. We need his son. We were made to what? To worship God, our creator. But somewhere along the line, the devil... And our ancestors failed us. Eve was tricked, so says the Bible. Mm -hmm. But says the man was not fooled. But Adam chose to do. His wife gave him the fruit and said, here, eat. And instead of him obeying God, says, no, I can't. Because God says, no, he went ahead and he ate anyway, didn't he? And to show you in the end how we can make excuses. First thing the woman said was, the devil beguiled me. In other words, the, the, the serpent, the serpent tricked me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then, then he looked over at Adam. He, he didn't even have to ask him what his excuse was. So listen to this. What, what's Adam trying to do?